walking in that. I told him to go grab my umbrella. He couldn't use it because it was purple and obviously they're supposed to only use like black umbrellas. Sorry honey. He couldn't take the car because I won't show you the front but our keys to get into our apartment, which my kitchen's mess, to get into our apartment won't work. So sometime today I have to go to the NGIS and get our keys working. So, I just feel so bad for Caleb because he's he's out there in the rain. Just listen to it though, it sounds so good. We have not seen this much rain since we've been here. I just want to apologize, I haven't really been posting like I should. So we've been, you know, going through some things. You'll have to check out the next video that I post. Hopefully I'll be able to post that one, I don't know, maybe this week or next. I hope to have this one up at least tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. But I do have a video coming up that you probably don't want to miss. And even if it's something that you've not gone through or hopefully you don't go through, maybe it's something that you'll want to check out and see what my story is like so now for those of you probably wondering what that is you'll have to stay tuned um so but i'm wanting to be open about things in my life in like general look at my hair <laughs> it looks terrible <laughs> i'm so tired like caleb caleb left at like 620 or something to go to the gym with his friend Jack here and he he came back at like 7 I believe and I kept hearing knocking in my dream I kept hearing somebody knocking and I thought okay what in the world well then he like texts me and he's like babe my room key's not working and I'm like oh my word so I had to go I had to you know go let him in and all this stuff and I'm like how long have you been knocking he said about 14 minutes it was 7 14 he had been he'd been knocking for about 14 minutes and I was like oh my god like well that's where the knocking from my dream came from <laughs>
up and I'm now giving her a bottle. And poor baby, I didn't realize it, which Caleb actually went into her room because just to go check on her, he's like, it really stinks in there. And we stopped putting diapers in the little like trash can pail, like you see that one over there? We stopped putting her diapers in there because it just made her room really stink. And bless her heart, it looks like it really stinks in there. And I'm like, well, I don't know why, you know, we, we stopped throwing her, her dirty diapers in there. She pooped and we didn't realize that. Now, I don't know how long the poop's been there. It was easy to come off. TMI, I know, but poor baby. Um, and as you can hear, she's, she's not feeling the greatest, bless her heart. Um, I personally think it's teething. I don't know. There have been other kids at the park who've been sick, so it could be a number of things, but I hope she gets to feeling better soon. So I'm fixing to do my makeup. I normally like to do my makeup sitting down somewhere, but since Hazel's in our room and she's eating, if she sees me with the makeup, she's gonna come running to me. And I want her to eat her fruit because she needs to get up her energy today because she's not feeling that great. So I'm be, um, <laughs> I'll be doing my makeup in the bathroom. So for a little makeup tip, I don't know if you know this, you can probably tell I have some concealer on my eyes. I just used this concealer. It is the Maybelline New York, I don't know what shade, five in ivory. I like to get it lighter, but as you can see, I have it on my eyelids and it helps with your eyeshadow if you put a, sorry, if you put a powder over top of your um, concealer on your eyes. I'll show you, mine's cracked, but if you, get the powder and you put it over the con where you put your concealer. It helps your eyeshadow to um, not be splotchy and it helps to, oh man, that's bad. I'm, I'm not left handed guys. <laughs> um, it helps your eyeshadow to just glide on over instead of kind of be splotchy and be hard to, um, uh, what's it called? To like buff in or to, um, spread out. So, I'm going to put a little bit more on here. Just to make sure. But yeah, so that's just a little tip. Another tip that a lot of people probably don't know about me is that I don't, well, unless you watch my like um, makeup videos, I don't use a normal foundation for foundation. Like, I have some foundation, but here lately I have just been using the, um, the BB cream. This right here for my foundation or a base and then I just put powder over it because my face is not too bad like I don't feel like I have bad pigment or anything in my face so I just I honestly just use a, uh, a BB cream as my foundation so yeah see I feel like it it looks good I mean you can't get no better than this Hey guys, so this is the finished look. <laughs> My hair's still a mess. Um, I am just grabbing the Dawn dish soap. And since I'm done with my makeup today, I'm going to clean my makeup brushes. And which I'm sure all of you know this. Um, personally, I would not go out and buy any type of makeup cleaner. Just use this. This gets your brushes super, super clean. So I just like to turn my water up really hot and I'm gonna show you guys.
is it. It looks so much better than before. Um, just to use Dawn dish soap. This thing is now dirty. <laughs> or makeup, but just use Dawn dish soap and some hot, hot water, and it will clean your brushes right up. So little Hazel, as you guys know, has a little cold. I don't know if you mamas use Zarbies, but we use Zarbies. Um, we started using it, I think this year, or no, last year maybe, um, but Hazel was sick while we were coming to California. So it's been about a month and a half ago. I figure it's teething. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her some of this and hopefully she'll start feeling better, but hello. <laughs> Hi, baby. She has her strawberries. She had strawberries and grapes, but she's already ate all her grapes. She is a grape lover. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her some medicine. Okay, guys, sorry I have been kind of MIA, I just got done filming a video. Uh, little Hazel's right there. There's my little video set up. <laughs> little behind the scenes sneak peek. Um, hey, Hayes. But um, anyways, so I just got done filming a video. It's lunchtime. Hazel's been up since about, I don't know, like 8.30. I'm not even sure what time it is now. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and fix her some lunch and get me some lunch because Caleb's not coming home from lunch today. And then maybe we're going to go for a walk. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's supposed to rain all day today. So, she's getting into those, um, those goldfish. <laughs> anyway, go ahead and get you some, baby. Get you some. You got it. So, I just got done filming a video. Um, and I don't know when this video is going to go up. It's either going to go up. Um, this Friday, which will be like what Friday the 13th or uh, next week, I'm not sure. I've been off on my um, I've been off on my my, my videos. Um, and in this next video that you're gonna see, you're gonna find out why. Um, so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you definitely should. Um, I like to share like life events that go on. I like to share uh, mommy content, military content, cleaning videos. Um, so yeah, so if that interests you, please, 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 please hit that um, subscribe button. I'd really like for you to join my little um, little family here I have on, on on YouTube, and also you get to see little videos with Hazel. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just made it into the car. Um, charge my phone up first. It's, it's literally about to die. Um, but anyways, um, we're going to the NGIS because, and that stands for Navy Gateway Inn and Suites because our key cards have stopped working. I'm gonna let that person go. Um, but anyways, Hazel's just right back there. Normally we have her little TV going, but I don't today. Um, um, so yeah, I'm not going to show around the base because that's not cool. I don't want to do that. I'll wait for that person to leave. I'm not sure if that person is. I don't know what time Cove gets off, but it is 1240. Hopefully he'll get off around three or four. I'm not sure. Okay, so... 
my plans of just going to go get the key card and then going to the next and stuff has changed. Caleb got home. Obviously, he can't get into the room because he's locked out. So, I dropped him off at Panda Express at the next to get him some food so he's able to go to class and eat it. So, we just got back from the NGIS, which stands for Navy Gateway Inn and Suites. Um, and it, that, uh, it's the place that we're staying, um, here in California. We're only staying here till like mid-May. Um, so we just got back from doing that. Hazel is, um, she's over here on the couch in front of me. I'm sure you can hear her uh, little TV going, but, um, I'm hoping she drinks a good bit of her juice and then we're going to go. Lay her down for a nap.